we are heading into the final week of the NFL season, so we're going to explain every single playoff scenario as simply as possible so you can know which big games to tune into. This playoff race has been insane and is coming down to the wire, and there are currently 11 teams that have not yet clinched a playoff berth nor been eliminated heading into their season finales. So let's get right into it, starting with the AFC. Minshew pressure coming, taking a deep shot. Pierce is there! Pierce at the 10, 5, touchdown! The current locks in the AFC are the Baltimore Ravens at the one seed, earning the bye and also winning the AFC North. The Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC West again and are the number three seed. The Cleveland Browns, led by Joe Flacco, are the fifth seed. The four remaining spots are still up for grabs. Going deep. Going deep. Right there! What a perfect pass and play and the touchdown to Jalen Waddle. We will start off with the number two seed. This will also be the AFC East winner as the Bills face the Dolphins on Sunday Night Football. Whoever wins this game will be the number two seed in the AFC. If it ends in a tie, Miami still takes the division. If the Dolphins lose, they will fall to the sixth seed. But if the Bills lose, they can potentially be eliminated, depending on the other games. For a quickly here on third down, Minshew escapes the pocket, throws, he's got downs in Vegas territory. Touchdowns, still going. The number four seed will be the AFC South division winner. Colts, Dags, and the Texans are all entering week 18 at nine and seven. If the Jags win, they will clinch the division due to tiebreakers. If they lose or tie to the Titans, the winner of the Colts vs Texans game on Saturday night will win the division and the Jags can be potentially eliminated from the playoffs. Here he's got a five-man rush and he goes deep and he's got Kincaid! Duggar will make the stop! If the Bills do not win, they can clinch a wildcard berth in four different ways. Number one is if they tie. Number two, if Pittsburgh loses or ties. Number three, if Jacksonville loses or ties. Or number four, if the Houston and the Indianapolis Colts game ends in a tie. Reserve the top, top money. Where exactly does he land? Bethard trying to buy some time. Look at Bethard showing the wheels. <laughs> if the Jacksonville Jaguars do not win against the Tennessee Titans, they still have two ways to clinch a wildcard berth. The first way is if they tie, they will need a Pittsburgh loss or a tie. But if they lose, they need the Steelers to lose, they need Denver to lose or tie, and they need the Houston and Indianapolis game not to end in a tie. I do not understand why the Broncos are involved, but they still find a way to make headlines. Yo Broncos country, let's ride baby. <laughs> Indy has two ways to clinch. The first way is to beat the Texans, and the second way is to tie and pray for the Steelers' downfall. Houston also has two ways to clinch. Number one, beat the Colts. Number two, if they tie, they need a Jaguars loss and a Steelers loss slash tie. This game is a winner is in and the loser goes home. And this is the game that has the highest stakes in week 18. He's playing today because of injury. And Levis is hammered. The ball's out. Titans, Sheldon Rankins. The Steelers have five ways of clinching, but they do not control their destiny at all. Their two simplest ways are to win and pray for a Titans or a Dolphins win. Second and goal, Harris. Inside the five. Harris dives for the goal line. I don't think that's a Let's head right into the NFC race. Second and goal. Stafford sprints out, throws. Cooper Cup touchdown Rams. The current NFC locks are the number one seeded and the NFC West Division champions, the San Francisco 49ers, and the six-seeded LA Rams. The two and five seed will be between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys, where the Cowboys control their own destiny with a win, locking up the NFC East Division, along with the number two seed. And the Eagles will finish as the top wildcard spot at the fifth seed. The Lions will be your third seed, barring any upsets from the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants, with their first division title in 30 years claiming the NFC North. This leaves the fourth seed wide open and the seventh seed up for grabs. Starting with the fourth seed, which will go to the NFC South division winner, probably the worst division in football, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers control their destiny and with a win, they will clinch the division. If the Bucs lose, 
they will be eliminated from the playoffs and the New Orleans Saints versus Atlanta Falcons game becomes a winner takes the division game. The Bucks can still clinch with a tie and a Saints loss or tie. The New Orleans Saints can still take the division with a tie and a Bucks loss. The Atlanta Falcons only chance to make the playoffs is to win the division. Into Harrison Smith knows it down to the edge. Jerry comes. Protected as well. Firing in the middle of the field. Touchdown in the middle of Jake Reed. The Green Bay Packers control the seventh seed and have six ways to clinch, but the simplest way is to just simply control their destiny by beating the Chicago Bears. Smith, end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. Kobe Parkinson. Seattle Seahawks need help to clinch. They have three ways, but their simplest way is hoping for a Chicago Bears win against the Green Bay Packers, along with themselves beating the Arizona Cardinals who are coming off an upset win against the Philadelphia Eagles. Seattle can afford to tie, but then it will require a miracle for them to make the postseason. A loss to Arizona will kill their hopes and they'll send Seattle packing home. You see, here's the elaborate pressure. You don't know who's gonna bail. You don't know who's gonna rush. Car throwing end zone. It's caught for the touchdown. Assuming the Tampa Bay Buccaneers win the division, the New Orleans Saints can make it as a seven seed. They have two ways of making it to the wild card. They need the new Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks to choke, and they need to win themselves against the Atlanta Falcons or at least tie. Mullins just gets the snap away. Pressured again. Throws it off his back foot. Caught. It's caught by Addison. He's going to go all the way in for a touchdown. The Minnesota Vikings, believe it or not, are still not eliminated from the playoffs, but they have the longest shot to make it. Most importantly, they need to beat the Detroit Lions. They also have two ways of making it to the playoffs, but they need the Green Bay Packers, the Seattle Seahawks both to lose, and one of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or the New Orleans Saints to lose as well. All right, so that is your guide to the week 18 in the NFL. And now you know which game to tune into. Although intelligent humans will just watch NFL Red Zone all day and be satisfied. Another thing intelligent people do is smash the like and subscribe button because they know Beyond the Radar provides them with frequent sports content. Also, comment your thoughts and predictions down below because we love hearing from you guys. If you guys want a full breakdown and our predictions for the playoff picture, please check out this podcast episode on screen. Hope you guys enjoy the upcoming weekend of football and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.